another great, beautiful, shining morning. 70 degrees, seven o'clock in the morning, Sacramento, California. Man, it's gonna be a hot one, but that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here to talk more energy leadership coaching. This is your boy, Coach Mo. Today, we're gonna talk about level seven energy, the, the, the highest level of all seven uh, levels. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to, to break it down because this is where it's at. This is level seven energy is, you know, the highest level that, that we can obtain. But here's the thing with level seven energy, no one, no one can resonate completely at level seven and just stay there. It's, it's energy, it's volatile. So the goal is always to be able to tap into it. But what exactly is level seven? Well, level seven is that absolute, absolute positively passion. And when you think about passion, you think about passion in that moment, right? You think about um, feeling, feeling powerful, the fearlessness, uh, non-judgmental right so that's level f that's level seven right you, f you when you feel level seven there's there's no fear there's no judgment there's absolute passion there's a flow there's creativity there's that genius there's that ability to create create nothing from something from nothing it's it's that type of feeling that you have and so um, but no one can resonate there like completely and just stay there, right? Um, we just can't. But but with level seven, you can learn how to tap into it, right? And so let me break it down to you. Let me just give you how level seven works and how I was able to use it to tap into the other uh, six levels. Um, so as you know, I'm extremely passionate about coaching, right? And one of the one of my great achievements was introducing professional coaching into the Department of Justice, and in doing that, I had absolute passion in doing that. So I had to tap into that level seven. So what did that look like? Okay, so um, being extremely passionate and really put the service first, in which. I can bring coaching to this department. So my focus was on servicing the department, level four, right? And thinking of how I can service the, the, uh, the, the staff, senior leadership, I thought there were so many opportunities in which I can do this. And there was a calmness about how I approached those opportunities, level five, right? And so as I synergized and collaborated with influencers in the department, level six, um, I just got them on board. They, they were all in on Mo's enthusiasm, his, his passion, level seven, on, on you know how we can get this out. So I was instructed to go ahead and create like a pilot coaching program, right? And so as I was introducing this pilot program, there might have been some hiccups. Uh, in, within those hiccups in that moment might have been a little bit of disappointment, level one, right? Um, disappointment where that, that I had to kind of over, overcome, right? But in that moment of disappointment, I thought to myself, how can I, how can I shift this? How can I how can I change the narrative where it's into my favor? Level three, level three, taking ownership of my own thoughts and control and not being sucked in by the negative negativity or the negative thoughts that I might be um, perceived to have in that moment of disappointment. And so as I take ownership in, in how I was coming along uh, to overcome that disappointment, um, there was a little bit of fight in me that I had to prove and I had to work hard to prove that this program is going to be the best program um, in all of California government agencies. 
And I, I wasn't going to let anybody take that from me. So I'm going to fight for it, level two. So that's an example of, and, and, and that's an example of all how I applied all these different levels of energy into this one scenario of creating a coaching opportunity um, here at the Department of, of Justice, right? But, and that's an example of including how these different several le seven levels of energy just show up. And, and, and I'm not tied to exactly one level, but all seven levels apply, right? And the thing about level seven energy is um, it creates self-awareness. When, you, when you're absolutely passionate about something, and we all are passionate about something, whether it's our kids, whether it's family, whether it's an aspect of work, there's a passion, an absolute passion that you may carry. And with that absolute passion, there's a fight that become, that comes with that. There's a level of service that you want to help people. There's a level of responsibility. There's, you see a, a wave of opportunities. You, you, um, you're, you're not afraid to synergize and, and get into that flow. Um, and then there's disappointments that come in that journey and see all of that incorporates those seven levels of, of energy. And so the, the key about all of this, about the seven levels of energy is how do you reduce the catabolic energy to maintain antibiotic energy? And then when you are in an antibiotic state, there's more creativity, there's more productivity, there's just more joy, there's more absolute passion, and, and that's just the state of being that, that you, that you want to be in, that you have to be in, to be as productive as you want, to create that version of yourself. So um, that's, that's the seven levels of energy. And, you know, just kind of going forward, I'm going to be popping in and just talking about different scenarios. So, and identifying how these levels of energy kind of show up in just regular situations so that you can start gaining just better understanding of what, what I've been talking about. But whether you believe me or not, it is, it is. You experience these seven levels of energy and it's your choice. It's your choice to explore whether it's true or not and how it shows up for you. But it's, it's not about true or not being true. It's about what is. And what is is that we experience all seven of these these energies, whether you accept it or not. It's, it's just is. And that that's just makes me happy because I understand this concept and I have tremendous, tremendous self-awareness around it. And I, I just look forward to sharing my knowledge and wisdom as it as it pertains to these seven levels of energy. Well, as you move through your day, um, just just create awareness around moments when you feel passionate about something. And then if you can do that, you're really you're really tapped into that level seven. And then you it does take practice to learn how to identify it in other the other six levels, but one of the first steps is identifying what level you are in. And we've, we've talked about all the other seven levels, all seven levels and how you can identify it. But thank you for joining me. Um, I look forward to continuing to share my wisdom and have a great day.